The taping method became the go-to standard for quads that could not secure a racket in their hand. I have uh, some impairment in my upper extremities. I don't have enough grip in my hands to uh, hold the racket, so I uh, use tape. When I started playing tennis, there weren't any other quad players at Saddleback College where I started playing, so it was a lot of trial and error. The athletic tape is used extensively to firmly secure the racket in position. This method provides as much stabilization as possible. Part of, for me, the, the greatest thing that I learned out of all of this was reversing the tape so that the sticky side was out and now I had that sticky adhesive contacting the push rim and gave me a much better push and improved my mobility significantly. So over the years as I was kind of refining that process for myself, there were other individuals that I came in contact uh, with, maybe were a little curious or interested in what I did, how I did it, and why I did it. So I would show them. The PVA camps started happening, and they would get a quad player signed up from time to time. So I was their contact source and was invited to come participate in some of the camps where a quad player might be, and then I had the opportunity to kind of show them firsthand what I did and how I did it. As well as to keep the tape from binding or pinching the skin around the wrist. It may be a good idea to place the racket in the hand and then begin taping the fingers into position. I know there are others that have some different methodologies that they use, but I think a lot of it is from the basis uh, that I started from um, in using the athletic tape and, and the things that I did in the way that I did it. Remember, securing the racket with a firm, comfortable, and consistent grip is critical, but in the long run, it will be worth the effort. <laughs>